Hello again, everyone. It's your boy. And welcome back to the next round of the NFTGL redraft. Coming in at the sixth pick with a man record of 32 and 24 over the previous iteration, with four playoff appearances, one man bowl appearance, and a man bowl victory, is coach Jared Lutton. Jared has an interesting uh, selection here where there is only one team remaining in the NFC East and four teams in the NFC Central. He has to decide if he wants to go with a team that he may choose to be inferior uh, but have an easier road to the playoffs, or does he want to go into what could potentially be a much harder division but potentially have a better team. So let's see what he has to say. What's up, NFTGL? As Dan says, it's your boy. Um, well, I didn't want to make you guys wait the whole time. So, uh, this is the pick video. So, first, we got to talk a little bit about the thought process here behind everything. Um, so, Bill did some shit with the pack, man. He, uh, he showed how pretty unstoppable the offense can be. He showed how fucking amazing the legendary Reggie White can be. And uh, the thought there also is that Leroy Butler, you know, is, is the best safety remaining in the league right now at this point. But then, you know, so I'm doing some practicing, doing some trades, and I'm thinking to myself, and I'm like, if I'm going to be in the division of death, right, I need to make sure that I have the best team, the best team to have even a fucking chance of competing against, you know, the Rays, or, you know, you know, damn with the fucking Bears, you know, just, so I was thinking, you know, um, something else entirely, actually. So instead, you know, we have this thought process here with, you know, can you go home again, right? And, uh, you know, um, I mean, Dickerson's amazing. Backfield's fucking amazing. The team on paper is absolutely just fucking amazing. Great playbooks, great everything. Um, amazing trade potential. Like, I discovered some shit, like, like you don't even know. Um, like, just what Nickerson can move for, it's just it's stupid. So this, you know, so the thought here is like, okay, so if I'm going to go for a team in the division of death... It's got to be the Pat. It's got. It's got to be. It's got to be the Buccaneers, right? Tampa. It's got to be Tampa Bay, best team on paper. It's just. It's just a foregone conclusion at that point, right? Um, so, but then there's more thinking here, and so then the thought is, do I want to be in the division of death, as I call it? You know, uh, the other option is the Giants, which. It's not exactly an appetizing defense, to say the least. But, you know, the thought there is that, you know, I think Joel's going to do pretty good with Zona, honestly. And, you know, I, you know, the rivalry with Bill, that'll be a thing. But, but you know, then you got Steve twice. You got Greg twice, you know. It's definitely the easier path in that sense. So that was my, you know, my decision process here was do I do that? Or a better team, like the Pack or the Bucks. And so here's my thought with this. And so, yeah. All right. Do I go as a man and do the manly thing and be in the division of death? Or do I be a bit of a baby and get to whine and complain about having to wear the clothes of a rival of the Eagles. It's fucking New York, right? I mean, fucking only worse is wearing Dallas shit, you know? And, uh, you know, the thought is, is that, you know, things go poorly. I just fucking cry about it. Right. But this way, either way, you know, I mean, I'll have more fun. I get to play Stephen Greg twice, you know, each season and, um, something different. You know, I'm sick of the central for the most part. I just kind of want to get the fuck out of there. And as much as I would have liked to have gone back home again, 
you know. I think I'll be a baby this time. Wow, and Jared chooses to go with the easy road. The, uh, the NFC East, after only six picks, is completely gone. That means that the remaining four picks are all going to be in the NFC Central. Can Jared do better with the New York Giants than he could have with a superior team? The big choice, though, was does he go, you know, the teams that he had in the, in the Central to really choose from were teams that he had before, uh, at least the better teams. So let's take a look at the New York Giants. There is one roster change on the New York Giants that Jared gets to benefit from, and that is at the quarterback position. Dave Brown has been sent to the Oakland Raiders for Jeff Hostetler. This one upgrade on their offense makes the offense significantly more potent, giving them both a mobile quarterback and a quarterback with a really, really high passing speed. Uh, allowing them to really maximize their running game uh, and their excellent offensive line. The defense is still pretty much crap, and that's something that Jared's going to have to figure out. But that's all of the changes for the New York Giants, so hopefully that's enough. Until the next video.